365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us. You've Got Mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is August 4th, 2022. And the title of our devotional is, The Lamb is the Greatest Provision. The scripture reading can be found in Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. And it says, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. I like to visit the Christian bookstore, particularly the gift section. It's impressive to see the countless objects found there. Pins, glasses, mugs, brochure, bookmarks, cards. The last time I visited my favorite store, I asked one of the ladies who works there to help me find a gift for our family. Without much hesitation, she showed me a beautiful plaque to hang on the wall that had a very particular motto, Jehovah Jireh is the provider for this family. I didn't hesitate to ask her to wrap it as nicely as possible. The day I visited the family and gave them the gift, they asked me a question I didn't expect. Pastor, excuse the question, but what is Jehovah Jireh the provider of? Well, it took me almost the whole Bible study to explain it. I initially showed them that the Bible is full of passages that show God as, as a faithful provider of our daily needs and that God takes care of most of our heartfelt needs in many ways. However, it was necessary to further clarify the explanation in order to show them the greatest meaning of this passage. In Genesis 22, God asks Abraham to sacrifice his son. Demonstrating extreme trust in God, Abraham decided to obey despite his pain and confusion. But in the moment that he was going to carry out the sacrifice, the angel of the Lord prevented him from doing it. God provided a ram to take Isaac's place. Abraham's affirmation is a sign pointing to the future, to the way God also offers his own son as a substitute for the sin of those whom he wished to save. Jehovah Jireh is the promise of the redemption from sin. We were supposed to die for our sins, but God gave his son, the lamb who takes away the sin of the world. Our salvation was not improvised. It was provided. The next time I visited that home, I noticed that the gift had been moved from the living room to the kitchen and I thought that if there was any place in the house where the God who provides should be, besides the kitchen or the living room, it's in our hearts. Invite him to dwell in you. Amen.